Hey friends, I'm Jeff, I'm a wizard. Uh, I do videos and talk about stuff. Today I want to talk about emotions. Because I was sitting here in my room and I've been uh, taking some time to rest and that's been difficult because of emotions. And I just thought, wow, emotions are hard, yo. So I just thought I'd uh, do a video. It was quickly inspired. Um, I hadn't, uh, didn't feel like doing one for a while, so uh, I thought we'd go with it. Then I got up, uh, um, then I got around setting up everything, um, figuring out the lighting and stuff, which is completely overlit right now, I think, but uh, I'm, I'm trying it. Um, and then I, I forgot why I wanted to do the video, but then I remembered again, emotions, so here we are. <coughs> um, but I mean, I, like, I lost the spark a bit along the way here, so I need to get back into it. Because uh, I really was inspired like 10 minutes ago. I was like, oh yeah, I know what I have to do. Then I got lost. But that's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll get it back. I have three options for you guys. So um, if you're feeling emotionally connected with this guy here, this is a rose quartz. Right now, everything look, is looking white. So I hope in post, you will see a nice pink rose quartz here. Okay, that's for group number one. Group number two. The big guy here, this is a yellow calcite. I had my eye on for a while. Um, I don't know why, but here it is. So that's group two. I like it, I like it. Feels good to hold, it's good to think, feels good to point. Um, yeah, and then three, this is my old friend. This is a piece of tourmaline that has been coiled by a very powerful wizard. It's me. It's group number three, okay? So if you want to know what emotions you're going through or uh, what to do about them uh, or to why, why you should uh, be bothered by them. I had a lot of good jokes here. God damn it, I lost them all. Okay, we're just going to start. I'm using these new cards I found, the Fae Tarot. Um, I have a thing with fairies. I don't know why they gave me this ring as well. Are you guys seeing anything? This is so bad, right? Okay, let's, let's get it upside down. That's a bit better. Okay, so I have this pretty bright, cool ring from the fairies. I don't know if ever, anybody ever watched um, True Blood, that show with the vampires, and there was a, one moment where it's okay, it's okay. Um, like, she's like, uh, I'm a fairy? And I remember thinking, that's so stupid. That's so ridiculous. But, uh, yeah. Well, weird things happen. Um, here we go. So, I'm gonna start with group one. One, two, three. How are you doing? You chose the rose quartz. Rose quartz is about, it's been coming up for me a lot since the last week. It's about unconditional love. It's about being soft, about being kind to yourself. It's all about to yourself, you know? Um, it really helps put the rose quartz in a place where you need to be a lot more kinder to yourself or like drop the pressure, drop the self-hate, drop the self-talk, um, self-criticism. Just put it near your desk when you know you're too hard on yourself with work, you, you, you put too much on your to-do list or put it near your bed when you're too hard on yourself by, um, you know, when you, when, you, when you go to bed and you have all these self-doubts and self-criticism or you keep worrying, put one near your bed you know, to give it all of this atmosphere of like, oh, calm down, it's okay, it's okay. Way more okay than you think. You know, that kind of feeling? Good, that's Rose Quartz. Group one, can put here. Okay, how are we gonna do this? Hmm. Oh yeah, uh, he wants me to put six, so I'm gonna put two rows of three. And I'm gonna see what story unfolds, okay? These cards are pretty cool, because uh, they have pretty dark things on them as well. One, two, three, four, one fell out, okay? No, more than that. Whoa, okay. Let's see. <coughs> one, two, three, okay. So, we're gonna do four on the first row, that's also Fine. This is pretty amazing because I tried them only once yesterday and I'm already pulling three of the same cards I pulled yesterday. It's blowing my mind. Okay, <laughs> so um, I'm going to show you mirroring. Eh? I mean, the correct way. So we have the five of wands. 
These cards are cool. Okay, um, I'm going to show you the five of wands. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. So this will be interesting. Wow, look at all the power. So, uh, still don't know if you can see that. <sighs> Let me... <I'm laughs> There's no way of telling except to stop and, and go look at it, but I don't want to. Okay. So you can kind of see this. Uh, anyways, it's three guys hanging on a branch with a rope and one guy sitting, on a four guys, sorry, and one guy sitting on the top of the branch. Anyways, five of wands is a conflict uh, fighting. Here it seems like somebody's being bullied or uh, somebody's being left out. Mm -hmm. Upside down, then we have the second card, is the seven of wands, somebody defending. Uh, fighting against all these ghosts then we have the wheel which is a cool card here because it's two fairies who are who are um sort of making a toy maze or or a spiral uh and it uh, reminds me of let's uh, say your uh, spirit guides or your your angels are um putting down this maze for you they're guiding you through a path okay they're, they're helping you like you could get straight to your goal but they're guiding you in a soft path towards your goal, all right? So that when you reach it, you are fully ready. They're putting, like, it's like they're putting, it's like they're putting um, blocks on your road or challenges, but it's to, to teach you because straight to your goal, you would, hmm. You know, they're getting you ready. They're getting you ready. I, I just want you to see that, but you can't. Okay, like that. All right, there we go. Right, so that was that was that card. Okay, now we find a way. Now we find a way. See, see, I'm adapting. And then we have the wisest. I pulled this card three cards already because that's me. I'm the wisest, and I have dragon. That's me, or you. I guess it could be you too, because it could be other people. <sighs> okay, this is showing the path to this. Okay, guys, so you are. You're strong. You tamed this dragon. You came out of defeat. You lost. You lost. You lost the battle. Something. You get bullied. You get bullied. Okay? But you stood up. You learned to stand up for yourself. And even if you think, no, I didn't. I didn't fight back to anybody. Or I didn't. I didn't defend myself. Or I didn't win. It's not. You did. You did. Because. No matter. If people defeat you in real life or they hurt you and you didn't stand up for yourself, okay, you are, um, you still have to stand up to them in your head and you still have to learn to be strong and uh, come out of that and fight the demons in your head, okay? And you, and you did that, you conquered that. So, no matter, you became strong, okay? Just come with me. You, it's very double. Like I said in the beginning, this being somebody's putting, helping you out. You you've been you've been guided along a path, or you've been following a path. But what I, the double meaning is mostly. It's coming around. You've, like okay, like like let's go with the story. You've been bullied. You've been teased, or people have been very mean to you, or took things from you. You you came out of that. You survived that. You became stronger. You doesn't matter if you don't feel strong right now, or you don't feel like you're st like you can still feel like the loser or the like you still get left out in the cold. But you don't see yet the. How that fortified you it made you stronger and you don't see that yet but would you come across these same challenges again you would see it immediately it's not even gonna in a good way you know not in a like okay i have to fight again and then maybe i can win no 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 it's gonna be like what i'm not even afraid anymore this is child's play 
You're so much stronger. Okay, you're not that little kid or, or person anymore up on that branch scared, okay? You're, you're not. You fought way worse things than this meanwhile. And you fought these things in your head, okay? That's the most important part, because look, you can be, you can defeat everybody, but if you're still afraid of them, then you haven't won. Or if you're still trying to defend yourself all the time, or if you still feel like you have to fight all the time to prove this so that you can feel strong or that you can prove again to yourself that you can be strong, then you haven't won. You haven't won. And you, you, you've won. And you're the wisest, okay? Okay. So then we got the eight of wands. Got five, seven, eight of wands. It was, it was um, fast moving energy, but it's upside down, so slow. <laughs> uh, or mental fears, mental agony, like, um, you know, being shot by. I always see it like this, um, like all these, these mental, f all this passion of, 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 of fire inside of you, like sort of stabbing you like these, these fears and doubts and anxiety, like, you know, right at say you go on a stage and you're suddenly really nervous and you have a panic attack like that that's the eight of wands for me as well it's like all these fears like like oh my god okay but um especially upside down you know it's like internal ups up um the right way up it could be from outside a lot of criticism a lot of of competition but not in a bad never in a in a in a like an eight of swords kind of way you know that's the nightmares the eight of wands sort of is um you're not that self-confident. Uh, I mean, you're not you're not doubting yourself that much. It's not that deep, but it's sort of a, a sudden attack of all these worries. Like, oh, 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 no, 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 no. Okay, I'm cool. I don't know why I'm going into this this much. There are bells. This girl has bells on. Hmm. Hmm. So it was upside down. Falling. Okay, wait, let's continue. Falling. We have the Knight of Chalices, which is a guy in a crab. It's the Knight of Cups. Um, you know, the, the Cancer. <coughs> so uh, emotional. Okay. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Nice. And we have the. Oh, it's a beautiful card here. We have the Seven of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. All right. All right. All right. All right. Huh. Okay. Rose quartz. Eh? Our emotions. What are we talking about here? So, okay, guys. The message here. Remember in the beginning, I said this is for not being so hard on your freaking self, okay? So this message here is, or these cards here are here to remind us, this group, <sighs> you, you are so much stronger than you think. And, um, what you, what we don't realize here, is feeling all these emotions still and still swimming in those waters even though it feels heavy and it feels like you're not moving ahead <laughs> um, it is the right way and it looks like a lot of people in the world seem to be unfazed by this but this is this we are the strong ones here because despite a lot of people being against us despite all these fears despite us falling okay and having to fight all this time and having to defend our emotions we still defended our emotions okay let's say somebody bullied you or somebody did wrong to you and you cried about that and you spoke up about that and people didn't listen or that didn't mean anything You didn't, you, you did, that didn't affect us, okay? Or, or you, that didn't affect you. You kept, you kept defending your emotions and you kept being strong in that and you kept defending yourself in your head, okay? 
and it's not because you still feel that makes you weak not at all it's the opposite okay it's your emotions make you strong your emotions make you strong and they open a world to you that other people have lost okay you can shut off your emotions you can stop feeling you can say okay okay other people affect me you know what i'm not gonna let it hurt me again i'm never gonna i'm never gonna let it bother me but you didn't and and shut off and become cold and calculated but that's not the right way okay we are you guys are still speaking up and you're still fighting for your emotions and you're still you know what i don't care even if you think I'm a loser, or you think I'm weak, or you think I'm pathetic, or whatever, or crazy, you know, that's the, that's, the, that's the big one, right? You show your emotions, and people immediately say you're crazy. You should go see a therapist. That's the number one defense. And it's so, such bullshit, okay? Showing your emotions has, is, is strong, and, and it... People will attack you for that, okay? Because they don't want to feel the emotions. But we here in this Rose Quartz group, okay? You know, people they think we're all... We, people think of you, you're so like cute and pink and soft. But that's the mistake. That's the big mistake they make because... <sighs> you know, in the end of the story is the Two of Swords here, is we are strong, okay? You are strong. You can make these decisions. You're blindfolded. You don't know what to do, but you're still you still feel you still feel your emotions, and you became wise from that. You learned to deal with these emotions, so you can make that decision. You can make that decision. Other people's don't can't do it anymore. When they're blind, they're completely blind, and they follow the rest. And we ha still have deep inside okay and then the last card I want to talk about is the seven of pentacles it's just so beautiful look it's unexpected this guy is sitting here worrying or kind of tired but behind him this entire tree has grown and it's, it's upside down here but I'm more uh, it's tied to this this world card where you've been put through challenges and you've been you've been you've been going through the ringer and you've been had to be You've dealt. You've been dealt the hard cards, but but you've that's paying off now, and you don't see that yet, and you don't see how fucking strong and mighty you are, and how you are. You have learned to control that fire within you, and other people's have, don't. Need, other people's can't even tap into that anymore. Okay. It's like the X Men, Dark Phoenix, in the end, where she's like. No, my emotions make me strong. And then she's like a phoenix in the sky. Oh. Yeah. So, be kinder to yourself. You're doing it the hard way and not because you're, you're being... That's the dumb way. No, because it's the rewarding way. Okay? This suffering is not for nothing. It's not just you being a crybaby, it's you. It's you doing it right and walking the golden path. You know, the golden path is not where you're all zen and calculated and balanced. No, the golden path is where you feel your emotions and you're not afraid of yourself and your fears and you keep diving into it and you keep diving into yourself and you keep figuring it, it out. And you just move forward out of love because you want to be happy or you want to love things. And then despite how bad it gets, despite the nightmares, you can never go wrong. Okay? God will always, there will always be a hand for you. Always, always. When you think all cards are off the table or everything is, is, is lost, trust me, you allow that to feel that, allow to feel that despair, like go into it, but don't ever kid yourself that there, 
that everything is lost because it never ever is even though it really 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 feels like that sometimes and that's okay because I'm not saying you're not supposed to feel that way but there's more and there's always a hand even if you can't see it okay that's Rose Quartz goodbye bye good that was a big message <coughs> setting <coughs> group two hello yellow quartz people i've learned that showing things here works the rest is white yellow quartz okay let's see what are we gonna do this yellow quartz emotions 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 what are these emotions why are we emotional why can't i just be um, a productive human being instead i have to uh <laughs> cry and be mopey and angry and worried why is this okay wait i'm resetting a bit eh, guys so while i'm babbling i'm um i'm letting go of our rose course because it's kind of heavy pretty nice though because this is very different this is a. Uh, Like uh, when you when when I grab onto this, it's like uh, I'm, um, like you're on the happy roller coaster. It's like uh, well, you're stuck now, bitch. So bad luck. Bye. I'm like me. I don't want to be happy. I want to cry. Okay, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cards. Cards. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But these two first. <coughs> these two first. What's going on, you guys? What's going on? So we've got the Ace of Swords. <coughs> The glowing sword. Really cool. Wow. Reminds me of this game. Oh my god, I had a flashback. Whoa! Where did I go? I was places. Wow, I just see this like... I don't know, this deja vu feeling. This old game or something with the sword. Look at these visual effects. You can only find this here. My wizard channel. Three of pentacles. This guy working fiercely. I got this card today. And I was like, no, I don't want to work. I hate you. I hate working. I hate everything. And now I'm working. So I feel bamboozled. I feel emotionally manipulated. But well, you know, what else is new? Um, so one and three, 13. OK, this is lucky. This is lucky. OK, OK, OK. Okay, so, okay, I've been seeing 13 a lot, and as uh, you know, if you follow my uh, <coughs> game scope, it's not lucky or unlucky, it's just new energy. 12 is a working system, it's like everything is balanced, and then you throw another energy in there, and the whole system has to adapt, or it's like unstable. So it has to find, it has to, uh, new, but that's normal, it's the circle of life, you know? Uh, yeah. A new idea and working. Regeneration. Regeneration. Damn. It's really weird here. Her booby is out. Just want to show that. I feel like this idea comes from a bad place. It's like... Like from anger almost. Yeah, I've been getting a lot from anger. And then this work, like I said, he's working fiercely. He looks looks angry, but he looks very fired up. Wow, okay, and this is also like the balance for me. It's like the, the, the female and male ener um, energy, yin and yang. It's like this yin, is the woman is, is the, the, the architect and the man is the builder. And they're both angry. God damn it. Okay, more cards. King of Swords. King of Swords. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that fits into these cards very well. Because that's what the King of Swords is. It's sort of kind of this emo unemotional... No. He, the King of Swords, in the right way, it's not unemotional, but he's, he's very... Um, he's calculated. 
but in the right way. It's the same thing. Look, his face. He's got that kind of determined determination here. Like, you know what? Nothing is stopping me anymore. I know what to do. I know how to make the hard decisions. And it fits into these two. It's like kind of the hybrid of these two. You know, it's like this fire in this sword and then this hardworking man. And then you get this guy, the sword in the stone, the red, the fall as well. This fall, falling leaves. <sighs> yeah, like, okay, like, look at this guy, like, the, the winter is coming and he knows what to do. This is not going to be easy, but he knows what to do. And he's very motivated. This is like, okay, no, listen to me. I know what to do here. Stop your bullshit. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Hold on. Okay, wait. I got some more cards here. <clears throat> hmm. I'm gonna see. Okay, we get the nine of swords. We get the ten of swords upside down. That's not good. We've got our eight of pentacles upside down. We have the six of swords upside down. Also not good. And the ace of wands also upside down. All right. Okay. Like I'm. Doing it this way because I feel like our three main cards here are the, the the big story here. Our emotions. This is about. Yeah. This is what your emotions can do for you guys. Okay, like look. When you um. Fuck yeah. Okay. This is about, I told you this was powerful. <sighs> Look guys, you've been angry. You've been, uh, been pretty down. I think, uh, <sighs> disappointment, a lot of anger, a lot of anger. And I think it's time to, to stop turning that against yourself and start using that for yourself. Fuck everybody else for a second you thinking about you it's, it's 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 putting the oxygen mask on your face but then in the right way because we all say that we all know what it means it's all very logical but it's not because emotionally it's one of the hardest things you'll ever have to do and this is what this anger is pushing you to do it's like anger is always moving you to take action so when you start being angry when you wake up angry every morning like me when you have to take stomach tablets because because <laughs> you're gonna explode inside um, it's, it's about finally finding the, the, the way to channel that for yourself because look this is very hard because uh, uh, um, you can say that all you want you know you can say use that anger for yourself and, and channel that into the right way and, and don't be so angry at yourself but this energy is there and if you don't know how to channel it if there's no medium for that if you can't find a way if no matter what you try no matter what you say no matter how hard you fight you yell you can't change your position then that's very difficult <sighs> well okay you see that this card flew up get the ten of cups upside down again okay look. Get the ten of cups Again, this female and male, okay? Again, this couple, and upside down. And the same, same kind of message again. It's like your unhappiness, not finding your fulfillment, not being satisfied, not being satisfied, not being satisfied. But, okay, this is what happens to most of us. We, we really want this, look. And we keep looking for that in the outside world, really keep looking for that partner or that fulfillment. And we don't find it. And, and after a long time, we still don't find it. And this is disappointment and disappointment and disappointment. And that, that gets angry and it gives you frustration. And then what happens at the end of the fucking road of that, you say, you know what? Assholes around me and losers, I don't need you anymore. I'm not gonna wait, I'm so fed up. I don't need you to make me complete. I don't need a big strong man to, to help me out. I don't need a, a, a woman to take care of me. I'm gonna find that inside. And then you find that inside, okay? 
and then this happens when you trust yourself when you say you know what talk to yourself you say it's not happening they're not helping us they're not gonna help us they're not gonna support us the way we want they're not gonna come for us nobody's gonna save you how we're gonna get the fuck out of you you know if it's like that if if nobody's gonna come and it's and it's just gonna be us for the rest of our lives if, if that's the way it is then how are we gonna make it good how are, how the fuck are we gonna have a lot more fun then because if it's a disappointment or if, it's, if if other people suck anyway if everybody sucks well that's fine how are we gonna make this party happen okay just for you how are we gonna get out of this and then you go inside and then you find that and you find a plan okay and then you find some nerves of steel and you stop hurting yourself letting let, using that anger using that sword to fucking cut your, your your way out of this and not letting stab you in the back look this broken sword then this sword this is something this is really talking about a specific thing this sword this is an idea something specific here i'm very 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 hmm this sword this sword this is like it's it's anger it's you opening up it's you sharing something or or you know what you like i'm gonna stop letting something be used against me and i'm gonna Swing that sword around. It's something specific here, but the main message was what I just said. I think I said it pretty well. So, um, do it. I'm gonna draw some sigils here so you uh, get your butts moving. Do it, okay? Look, even if you're confused now and you don't know, okay, all this information feels good, but I still don't know what to do, relaxy taxi, okay? subconsciously the, that part of you that's smarter than you and that loves you more than you could ever think that heard the message okay and deep down inside of you it's already something clicked something went like oh okay okay but trust me it's gonna let it let the the less you think the, le the more you let it just feel your way through this the better it can come because it sort of always has to surprise you because if you see it coming, we are very stupid people. We are very stupid. So, we're very stupid. So <laughs> let your subconscious guide you and, and the message was received. Don't worry, you're welcome. Thank you. Letting it go. Let it go. Good. <sighs> Thank you. Then we have the final group. This is group throat. This is a uh, tourmaline and it is black and it is coiled. Good. <sighs> Last message. What emotions? What emotions? What emotions? What emotions? Look, this with this black. Tourmaline is something I've been attracted to for a very long time. The same as a uh, red jasper, which has to do with your root chakra, safety, security, being allowed to fucking exist. And like this coil, the, the pink, I did this a while ago, like a year ago, and I always liked the colors this way. Now I think I know what it means, because the pink it means regeneration, kind of. Or, or this is almost purple, like wisdom. But I almost felt like it was me. Like I had to protect myself really badly, and I had to really... Sh um, close off from a lot of people or, or, or situations and this pink was maybe me trying to soften that or um, protect that? I don't know, I don't know. Let's see what the cards have to say. Four. Relax, oh my God, this card. I really, they're so... Rube. Just rube. See?
What do we got? Only this card. Only this card. Three chalices. Three of chalices. Three of cups. Yeah. So that's being together, celebration, or, or being together with other people. Maybe what I just said, I mean, you know, like having to cut ties, having to close off, having to stop sharing that, or um, not having that, being lonely, being lonely. Wait, wait, the top card. Okay. <laughs> I told you, from group one, the wisest. Again, I told you, like I drew it already four times, five times. I only had this book yesterday. The wisest. I said five. It's five. Number five, the wisest. This eight. This eight is important. Eh? We have three. We have three. One, two, three. Oh my god. Group one, please. Seven of ones. Ah. Like, it's so weird, you know? Like, 70 cards or something, and it's uh, over 74, what is it? 78, damn, I should know that. 78 cards, and how do you draw two of the same cards or three of the same cards over and over? I mean, I'm used to it by now, but still, it's amazing every time. Um, three of chalices, and we have three cards here, we have the wisest, we have our knave of swords, which is our page of swords. That's a cool card. Look. Of swords, that's cool. So, this avatar skin that's the bell, and it's upside down. So, the page of swords, and then you have the seven of wands. The bell just went. What does that mean? And Spooky is playing. Page of swords, somebody naive, not in control. Oh, okay. Okay, that was the bell again. The third time. A sleeping dragon. What is this fucking about? Seven of Wands. Defending yourself. Yeah, okay. So, Christ, what is it? You're, I think you are... Um, you had to learn to defend yourself. That's difficult. That's painful. But this made you... It's like... It's, it's, something happened. I think some heartbreak. Heartbreak, you lost friends. The card just fell out of my hands. That's fun. Uh... Like like that okay like you know saw how that just happened that's what happened to you you had this happiness or this 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 something nice and then it just flew out of your hands you lost it you lost it but that was for a reason because you were this you were this page of swords you were um, naive and not in control of your ideas you're very wise I think you're very smart okay you guys are very smart you're very sharp but you were not in control of that. You just had this blade and you keep throwing it around. Like, not like look at it, it's in the air. It's like, whoopsie, whoopsie, it's flying out of my hand. And, and it, but in, in the bad way, you know, like being critical or sharp or too sharp or, um, or other, you felt unprotected to other people, uh, quickly hurt, ov overly sensitive and Look, this is you with all these ghosts in the air and you're defending yourself against all these attacks. But they're not really happening. There's ghosts. You were fighting ghosts, so you were you were you were connecting to other people, but not really. You were still feeling rejected or feeling all these these doubts or critic critic criticism that was not really there, okay? You were very insecure. You were very insecure and, and too sensitive, and you had to learn to to be in control of that, to 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 handle that sword better, to to um, defend yourself in the right way, you know, like a good queen of swords, like be sharp and 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 wise, but not be very flippity flippity, and not be so defensive, or stop finding these these 
imagined ghosts. You were fighting ghosts. And, and at the same time, not, okay? Like, these ghosts were there for a reason. Somebody put them there, okay? So I think, first of all, you were hanging with the wrong crowd. You were hanging with the wrong crowd. And at the same time, you were not, um, you didn't like yourself. And you were vulnerable. You were open, like you had, and you knew that. I think you, you knew that your defenses were, like you had an, a blind spot, an open spot. And, and you knew something was not right. So you, you, you felt unsafe and you felt unsafe around people. You couldn't relax, you couldn't be yourself. You couldn't be yourself. And you became overly, you were overly critical or you're overly defensive. Look, it's like this, you're this, this black tourmaline rock, you're already about defensive and protection and you're strong. And then you go ahead and put this pink coil around it, which is like a hat on a hat. So you were in, a, in an overly defensive stance but you didn't realize that. So you got these reactions from people. People react to that, but you don't realize that. So they're reacting in a way to your, you're in the defensive stance or like, and, but it comes across as an aggressive stance to other people. So they react maybe aggressively or defensive back. And you see that as their first impression of you. So you react to that as if they're already being negative of you. And then, you know, and then it starts, the miscommunication is, was already happening and you didn't see that. So these ghosts had to go. You saw these shadows, you saw shadows around people. You saw them bigger than yourself or you saw them meaner or more. So that had to go, that had to go. So, so whatever sadness or loss you had or, or, or missed com connections, it was it was meant to happen and it and it and it taught you a lot okay you're not right now i think you because you see the world more as as they it is you see people more as they are you know you're smart you're more confident and you're not naive anymore you've been around you but stay stay hopeful stay because you have to realize that that whatever happened in the past it's both parties okay so people were maybe not so right to you but you know you 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 attracted those people and at the same time you were also playing your part in that so both had to change you you had to change you had to you wisen up and really become you know if you're really smart you have to be able to take that responsibility. You know, I'm smart and I'm smarter than some people around me. I, I'm sharper. I don't have to use that against people and I don't have to be a bully that way. Because you know, a lot of people, when they're bullied physically, they become an intellectual bully. And it's the same thing and it's just as hurtful. And but you have to realize you're doing it. And you have to soften up. So this is maybe also the pink, you know, softening up. I kind of feel like taking it off now, the pink. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take off this coil. It's been on, on for a year now. Hmm. So, that's it. I'm gonna take off that coil. I don't know what it means yet, like it's, uh, it feels interesting. So, but this was live, you're welcome. 444, that's the end, see you guys later, bye.